I've let an AI agent to take over my email inbox for the past seven days. It can read all my messages. It can create an email draft and even send out emails on behalf of me. It took care of more than 60 emails I received for the past week. At the beginning, this AI agent has no context about me and how I normally behave, which caused quite a bit of trouble. But throughout the week, we did a few iterations to really improve the performance. It reads through hundreds of past emails that I sent before to extract facts and knowledge about me, like my Twitter, Discord, and where do I live, and also learn voice and tone, as well as logic about how I normally respond messages based on those past examples. And it used those knowledge to create a digital me, where it behaved almost identical like how I do. It also developed sophisticated behavior pattern, where it will categorize every single new email first and take different actions based on the type of categories. From research about the prospect, if it is something related to partnership, to return a summary about who this prospect is and what does their company do, as well as check my calendar time zone to coordinate a time that actually works for both of us, and even escalate to me when the case is out of his capacity. So in this video, I will talk about things I learned from having a real autonomous agent embedding a core aspect of my life, as well as how can you build your own super AI assistant. So let's get it. So the whole reason I start building this AI assistant is because my email inbox start getting out of control. I got a lot more email inflow than I can handle. And sometimes I do see the email and I know response, but I want to make sure the email is properly written. So normally I would just use ChatGPT, give it some context about myself, the original email, and ask to generate a response. But this process is quite time consuming. And when I only with my phone, I can't really do this because copy pasting things between different apps is not that straightforward. So this got me thinking, what if I can have GPT to just create an email draft for every single email? Every morning, whether I check my email on the computer or on my phone, a draft response is already there and I just need to review and click send. And that's exactly what I did. So for the first version, I didn't even write any code. I literally used Zapier to build this workflow where I would trigger GPT whenever I receive a new email with this prompt I'm using. And once GPT returns the result, it will create a draft reply. The reply process is a little bit complicated. I need to search for the email with the prospect email address and subject first, which give me thread ID that I can use to create a draft reply and pass on the body response. I set this up in five minutes, but the result is amazing. Every single new email has a draft created already. I can directly click on that, review the results, make some edits if I need and click send. And it is accessible anywhere, even when I'm on my phone. This is my first learning by bringing AI into user's existing flow and make it context where it's such a magical experience. This is very simple. It's already a big deal for me. But on the other side, the problem is very obvious because this is simply one GPT prompt. It has no context whatsoever about who I am. It definitely caused a lot of problem. 50% of the time, the response quality is so bad that I can't really use it. And it will also hallucinate and make a wrong decision for me. So to make this AI assistant useful, I have to teach it some facts about myself and the domain knowledge so it can answer the question like I do. This comes the second iterations. But before we dive in, I want to introduce you to a research that HubSpot just released. So I always like observing how people are hacking ChatGPT to get a specific task done because it is a great way for me to find product and business ideas. If I can find a use case that even 1% of people are hacking with ChatGPT, then I can productionize it and build a micro set around it. I already see a few people try it and start getting some attractions for their niche AI product. That's why this research that HubSpot did is really useful. They talked to people from top firms about how they are hacking ChatGPT today at work, from leads generation to support ticket resolution. And there are also use cases that I would never expect, like assist with scheduling meetings or create a project timeline or roadmap. So it definitely gave me a lot of good ideas and inspiration. If you also want to find inspiration for potential business ideas, I definitely recommend to go have a look. You can click the link in the description below to download this report for free. Now let's back to how I build the second version of this inbox AI agent. I want to digitize and create knowledge base about myself. So the AI assistant can mimic my behavior. And the approach I decide to take is creating knowledge base from my past emails. One is whether I can extract the facts and knowledge about myself just from past emails and also create a database. So whenever the AI assistant receives a new email, it can try to look up what was the last time I received a similar type of email and how did I respond before. I first explore all the past emails that I've ever sent and then extract clean data of a CSV file 
that has two columns. One is original message that people send me, and the other is how I respond before. Then I will take the original reply and turn into a extract of facts and FAQ about JSON. And then I will use this two main knowledge source to do a vector search whenever I receive a new email so that this AI assistant can actually have reference to learn. And the result is amazing. I will show you how. So the first thing we're going to do is export all the past sent email. I went to takeout.google.com and just select Gmail data. And in my specific case, I only need to send an email. So I will uncheck everything and only select sent and create export. Once it finished, it has an mbox file. mbox is a special file type to store emails, but it's actually not very straightforward to turn a mbox file into a clean data set that we can use as knowledge base for AI. We'll need to do a few steps to convert mbox file into a CSV file that contains the raw email threads, including both message and reply. And then we will use large language model to do the actual parsing to extract clean data like this. To do that, I will open Visual Studio Code where it has mbox file in, and I will create Python script to turn mbox into CSV file first. So this script will gather email thread as well as turn the mbox file into a CSV file with this file name. I have included this code in the GitHub link so you can copy paste directly. Once you did that, just do Python and box to csv.py. This should create a new file here called pass email and box, which will look something like this. Next, you just clean up this a little bit by removing all the emails that are not really sent from you and keep only the email thread, which has a column name called body. So we got the first two steps ready. The last thing is we will use large language model to do the data cleaning and create a knowledge set. So I'll come back to Visual Studio Code and create a new Python file called emailcleaning.py. And inside, I have this large language model prompt to ask GPT to turn an email thread into a JSON file like this with two column original message and JSON reply. And I have the second function called process CSV, which will basically take the data from every single row of the email thread, parse them into an email pair, and save the result into a new CSV file called email pairs. After that, I also create a .env file to save the OpenAI API key. And again, I have attached a script in the GitHub link so you can copy and paste it. And once you did that, you just need to run this script, Python email cleaning.py. This function going to take a while, depends on how big the CSV file is. But once finished, you should have a clean data set look like this that we can use as a few short prompt for the AI assistant. So we got our first knowledge base, and now we want to create a second knowledge base, which is extracted knowledge and facts about me. What it does is basically, if I mentioned something in the past, for example, my Discord link in one of my email reply, GPT should automatically extract that. What is Jason's Discord? And answer is a link. And we will give GPT hundreds of my past emails, so you can actually extract loads of facts and knowledge about myself. To do that, I will go back to Visual Studio Code, add a new file called extractfaq.py, import a list of libraries, I will create one function first to load the CSV data. And then I'll create a function called extract FAQ, which will take in the whole list of past email reply, break them down into small chunks with 3,000 tokens each chunk, and then we'll do a map reduce method. So for each chunk, we will go through this prompt. You are a smart AI assistant above is on past email. Your goal is to learn and extract common FAQ about AI JSON, including both question and answer and return the result in JSON format. After we extract FAQ from each individual chunks, then we will combine them together with another prompt called combine prompt. The following is a set of FAQ about AI JSON, and please distill into a final consolidated array of FAQ. So this will in the end combine everything together. And we will use a load summary chain, which should provide the map reduce function from LAN chain. We will return the final FAQs. And in the end, last function to save the extract FAQ JSON into a CSV file. And once we did those things, I will firstly load all the past emails from the email pairs.csv file, and then I will extract just the JSON reply column, convert it into string format, do the extraction, and save the file to FAQs. Once I finish, I can run Python extract FAQ.py. And again, this process probably will take a while depending on how big the file is. But once it finished, you should have FAQ.csv file as well. And now, since I have both knowledge base ready, I can create a knowledge retrieval system that whenever I receive a new email, it will do a vector search in both knowledge base so that the AI assistant can write a response based on this information. I initially used Lanchain and Llama Index to create this knowledge retrieval system. But very quickly, I realized one problem. To make this system useful, I actually need to continuously update the email reply pair as well as the common knowledge. And with the normal retrieval system, the updating to the knowledge base is quite cumbersome. So instead of maintaining the knowledge base myself, I decided to use another platform called Redmond AI where they provide an interface to manage and update the knowledge base. So I'll come here first, they upload email pairs, choose only to vectorize original message. As you can see, all the email pair will be displayed here like Excel. 
But behind the scenes, this is a vector database. If later I got a new email pairs that I want to add in, I can just add a new row here to type in new examples. And same thing for the FAQ doc. I can upload the extract FAQs and I can continuously update and edit the FAQ knowledge. Once I finish, I can create a knowledge retrieval tool here. I'll give a name, email drafter v2, import the two knowledge data sets that I just created. I'll create user input, client email, to take in new email that I receive from people. And then add a large language model step, giving it a special prompt. You're an inbox manager for JSON, and your goal is to help draft email response mimic the past email reply, where I will pass on the past example, as well as the FAQ knowledge. Then ask it to generate a new response based on the new email that I received. And I will also optimize it a bit further by clicking on the edit button for both knowledge. As you can see, at default, it's choosing most relevant data, which is vector search. I will set a query to be the client email so that it will start searching what are the last time a similar type of client email I received and retrieve both the message as well as my reply. And I will limit the page size to two. And we can try to run this. So the example email I give is, hi, I love your content. You should create a Discord. We'd love to join your community. And you can see the general response is actually really good. It has similar kind of voice and tone I normally have, which is quite short and precise. And also have the knowledge about what my Discord link is from the past email. So I can simply use this by go to the use tab and there will be an API endpoint. So I don't need to worry about deployment. But in my case, since I'm using Zapier to build up this workflow, I can just replace open AI step to the relevance AI step where I will select run a tool, click sign in, which will give me this model. So I need to get the API project ID as well as the region, which you can get from the API keys page at the bottom by creating new secret key. And I will select the tool name to be the new one that we just created, email drafter v2. The two knowledge one I will leave empty, but the client email will be the email body that I received from Gmail and replace body text in create draft reply step with the response we got from Realm CI tool. And that's it. With this second version, I start getting much higher quality draft email. If you want to learn more about knowledge-based embedding or implement the whole knowledge retrieval from scratch using Lanching or Llama Index, you can check out another video I made before. But after this, I start thinking, can I make this AI assistant a lot more autonomous? Can I actually turn this into an AI agent that has sophisticated decision-making ability? where it can behave like I do, which is categorize each email into different categories and, and depend on the category, take on different actions. For example, if it's a consulting request, then I need to do some lead qualification to understand what's the use case, what kind of budgets they have, as well as the timeline. If any of those information are not collected, it should automatically reply back to the client to ask for more information. But if the information are all collected, then escalate to me so I can take it from there. On the other side, if it's sponsorship emails, I wanted to research about this company, figure out maybe three potential video ideas I can make, and then escalate to me for review. But if it is other type of message, like general coding questions, then it should do a knowledge retrieval to create a message and draft an email. So I start building an AI agent to replicate this process. I start putting a giant system prompt where I define those categories and specific actions that it should take. However, this agent just continuously ignores the system prompt. It sometimes categorizes the email wrong, and it also skips steps very frequently. So how to have an agent that actually follows my standard procedure is a problem. But after a few iterations, I seem to find a solution that might potentially work. Instead of keeping the standard procedure as a giant system prompt, I keep system prompt pretty simple with just one instruction, which is to use a custom tool to categorize email based on the standard procedure. And this tool will not only categorize email and also output specific steps that it should take. And the result is that this agent seems to be much more controllable. It will do the categorization properly and follow exactly the plan that was introduced and escalate to me with the summary of the information. So let's dive in how I structure it. I will create two files. One is app.py where we will define the agent. The other is custom tools.py. This is where we will define the list of different custom tools the agent gonna use, including categorize email, research, reply email, and create email draft. So firstly, in app.py, I will import a list of different libraries as well as a list of custom tools that we define on the other file. And then I will give a simple system prompt, giving it a row as well as a goal to handle all the incoming emails by categorizing them based on the guideline and decide on next steps. I will create a list of different tools that we're going to create on the other file, passing on the system message and create a memory. Initialize the agent and that's it for agent. The main part is in this custom tools. Again, I will import a list of different libraries. The first function I gotta create is categorize email. I will create a prompt first to give very specific definition about each category of email. 
and ask it to return the category name. I'm going to use OpenAI directly and get the result, which is category. And after that, I will put in a list of logic. So if the category is consulting or job offer, I wanted to do a further triage. So I have another function called check consulting emails, which is a different prompt that will specifically categorize if those consulting emails already mention the key information that I need, which is what's the problem that the prospective is trying to solve and what's their budget. Then return yes, otherwise return no. So in here, you can say if the email is consulting and it already got all the information that I want, then it will forward this email to Jason with a summary about the problem the prospective is trying to solve and their budget. But if the email didn't really mention this two information, then it will return two steps. One is generate email response to collect further information based on guideline, and then send a generate email response to prospect directly. So this will give agent the guardrail about what they should do next. And the same thing I will replicate for collaboration and sponsorship email. For those type of email, I wanted to do research about the prospect and company first, and then forward this email to Jason with the research result. So I can have a quick view about whether this company is legit. If the category is non reply, then it should return this email has already been taken care of. Nothing needs to be done now. But if it's other type of general email, then it will just generate response and then create an email draft. So this tool will basically do the categorization and return a list of next steps. And to define the customer to populate, I will need to define two class. One is categorized email input, which will allow me to give description to the agent to explain the input further. So the input will be latest reply from the prospect, as well as the actual tool class categorized email tool, where I can define the name of the tool as well as a description about when to use this tool. I will define the argument schema to be the categorized email input that I define above as well as point to the function that I define above to be triggered when this tool is used. And that's pretty much it for the first tool. And then I will also create a second tool to generate email response, where we're going to use API endpoint of the relevant knowledge retrieval tool that we created before. But if you build a rock pipeline with Lanchin or Lama index, you can also just replace this part with your own function. But if you are using random CI one like I did, you can just simply call the API endpoint. And we're going to do the same thing to define the general email response input as well as general email response tool to give description about input and function. So this tool will help us generate a high quality response. After that, I have a pretty complicated tool called Perspect Research Tool. This will basically utilize the research agent that I created before. So if you want to dive into more details, you can check out that video. But at high level, it has a few different functions. It will use a SERPer tool to do the Google search for certain keywords and also a scraping tool to grab content from a specific website URL, and as well as summary function in case the website content is too large. And in the end, we're putting them together as a research agent, and then wrap this research agent as a customer tool here called Perspect Research Tool. And last but not least, we're going to repeat a similar process for escalating tool, which will send an email to me for escalating or a reply email tool, as well as create an email draft. And for each of those custom tools, I'm basically using Zapier to integrate to different systems. So each tool here are basically calling the Zapier endpoint. And that's pretty much it. We can just hook everything together and try a few different test emails. So if I try Python after py, then it will firstly try to categorize this email. And then because this is consulting email, it didn't provide all the information about use case budget. It will firstly generate an email response to the prospect to collect further information and send an email reply to the prospect, which it followed properly. And that's it. All you need to do is just deploy this AI agent on the cloud service like render.com and use it as a webhook to be called when new email received. There are a few different platforms for you to do that, including Zapier, Make.com, as well as NAN. So this is my experience of building and iterating the Inbox Manager AI agent. I learned a lot from this process. While I'm making this video, my friend Harry and I also developed a new feature for this AI agent to automatically schedule meetings. So if a customer's email, including things like what 2 p.m. next Monday work for you, the AI agent will automatically extract this proposed time do some research to understand the time difference between prospect and my time zone, get availability from my calendar link, and in the end, propose the actual meeting time. This feature is super interesting to develop, but I don't have enough time to cover it today. If you're interested, please click the link in the comment below and leave your email address. If there's enough interest, I probably will convert them into a blog post and send to you by email. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will continue posting interesting AI projects I'm building, so please consider giving me a subscribe. Thank you, and i see you next time.